Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Imagination Megapod. Now, um, it's been a while. In the last episode, uh, I worked on this area over here, uh, the uh, Mystery Marsh. And in uh, today's episode, I want to once again work on the subsea sands. Now, uh, what I have in mind for this episode, well, first of all, uh, I want to do these um, uh, canyon walls for the entire section here. Um, well, I at least want to uh, do a first version of uh, these canyon walls all throughout this uh, this area here. And later I will probably um, detail it more or add other sections or uh, make it a little bit more irregular. But for now um, I think this will be a good step to at least uh, get this part done. And when that's done, I think it will also be fun to have a transport ride here that uh, uh, yeah, can take guests uh, to several stations within this uh, area. And the thing I'm thinking of here is kind of like a school of dolphins or a group of dolphins that uh, uh, yeah bring the guests uh, uh, yeah around here. And I want to have it in such a way that the dolphins uh, are kind of scattered about. So uh, it will have to be done with multiple tracks. It will probably be quite challenging, but uh, I will see uh, how I will fare uh, with this. Anyway, um, yeah, the first thing which I will start with is uh, doing these uh, canyon walls for this entire section here. Now, I'm not going to do it all manually. I'll uh, make uh, several sections first and uh, I'll do uh, as much as I can by copying and pasting which is, of course, one of the benefits that the Scenery Manager plugin uh, brings us. And it will make doing all these walls here. Uh, yeah, it will save me uh, a few hundred clicks uh, at least. So I think that's a good thing. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go uh, build these walls. Okay, the outer edge of the subsea sand is now uh, completed. Well, um, I say it's completed. Um, of course, um, this uh, land here on the edge will still be done in later episodes. Because, of course, uh, this doesn't uh, look very finished yet. But, um, yeah, I think uh, this uh, wall edge uh, is definitely a step in the right direction. Um, I really enjoy these uh, canyon walls. I tried to make them uh, look a bit irregular in places. Uh, maybe I'll add some more irregularity in some spots uh, later. But uh, I think it's already uh, heading in. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's already heading in the in the right direction. Now I also added some of these uh, plants all around these uh, rocks. Um, yeah, they uh, definitely um, do their job of selling that this part is underwater. At least I hope they do. I think they uh, definitely make it uh, look nicer than just uh, having uh, rocks here. Now uh, also on the outer edge um, I added uh, foliage so I finished uh, sort of the border between the misery marsh and the subsea sand. So here you can see um, uh, yeah, a transition from the really dark uh, black forest into the tropical forest. Uh, where the path is nearby um, I tried to make the foliage a bit thicker. So that it wouldn't be as obvious uh, and in other parts um, well right here you can see it just uh, blocked but the view blocked by this uh yeah by these canyon walls 
all in all, um, I hope I did a nice job um, doing the border between these lands. I think it, uh, it uh, definitely works like this. I also did a little bit more some foliage uh, around the edge here. Also finished uh, some of this higher land, some of these canyon walls. So all in all, um, yeah, I think I quite like the border of the subsea sands area. Now, um, in this episode, I also want to build a ride in the area. I think it will be uh, really fun uh, for the guests to actually be able to get around in this area. So I'm going to make a transport ride. Uh, which allows the guests to stop off at several parts of the of this uh, area. I think I'll make uh, four stations, uh, one over here, one in this corner, one in this uh, on this edge, and probably one over here. And it will just keep uh, doing circles. Now, um, what I'm planning to do is to make a ride which has uh, dolphins that uh, will uh, ferry the guests around. Um, let me quickly turn off this cheat. So um, it will not be a normal ride, but instead uh, I want to give it uh, several different tracks. So we'll also have a track uh, over here, probably a little bit higher. Maybe like this. And we can probably also have a track on this side, maybe a bit lower. I'll have to see how I do this. But uh, I want to make all these tracks uh, have an equal length. And um, some vehicles of the of each train will actually be on uh, this uh, yeah this part of the track, and some vehicles will be on this track. And um, by keeping them the same length, um, yeah, they um, will all arrive at the at the stations at the same time. And yeah, I just want to make it uh, try and look like there's a flock of uh, dolphins uh, going around uh, carrying these guests around. And uh, it will kind of look like they're all, all um, going their same way. But uh, yeah, the, with these tracks close together, they will uh, stay close together. But their movements will look a little bit random. I think uh, in the end that will look uh, really cool. But yeah, um, let's uh, first see if I can uh, make this uh, work. So uh, I will just first uh, create a track leading all around here. And I'll try to keep the tracks uh, the same length. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope it works and uh, let's hope it uh, looks nice. Okay, I've now built the track. Uh, it travels all around the edge of this uh, area. Now, as you can see, we have three uh, tracks, which are mostly uh, equal to each other. And uh, I've made them such that they have the same length. Now, unfortunately, uh, from this angle, two of the tracks exactly overlap each other. But, oh well, uh, I, can, uh, I can live with that. Yeah, but mostly... Um, they just look like uh, three uh, separate tracks. In the end, the tracks will all be uh, invisible anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, now it's time to actually see um, if this ride will work as intended. So uh, let's just uh, spawn one train. And now I will uh, just move these vehicles onto these different tracks. Now, one thing I am a little bit concerned about is that uh, usually um, these uh, uh, yeah, dolphin boats all have collision with each other since they're uh, jet ski vehicles that, uh, well, let's just say they're sort of a boat hire vehicle and normally rowing boats uh, can also collide with each other and then they change direction. So this may uh, um, cause them to get stuck if they bump into each other. So uh, yeah, let's just hope that uh, doesn't happen. Uh, for example, over here, maybe they could bump into each other. But uh, 
yeah, only one way to find out uh, if it actually works. So with the right vehicle editor, I'm not just going to space out these vehicles and move them onto these three separate tracks. Okay, now uh, let's give the ride and test uh, and see if it actually works. See, we lost two vehicles. Oh, that's a shame. All right, uh, quickly going to uh, fix that first. Okay, so far, so good. I think it looks uh, pretty fun. Now, uh, in the end, the track will be invisible like this. I think uh, then, uh, I think this looks uh, awesome. And now the exciting part will come for me at least, and that's that these uh, vehicles may get stuck when they touch each other. So far, that doesn't seem to be an issue. Oh, I'm really liking this so far. <laughs> I think they are still uh, lined up as they should be. Looks like this uh, track may be a little bit shorter than the other tracks, or maybe a little bit longer, I should say. So that's uh, something to keep uh, uh, an eye on. Actually, uh, it looks like the cars uh, arrived in exactly the same configuration or the same spacing as when I uh, spawned them. So I'm going to uh, quickly uh, let them run around the track uh, a few times and see if they're uh, still all spaced out the same. They should be since all these tracks are the, the same length, but uh, I think it's always a good thing to uh, just give it a quick check. Right, um, they've done many laps now and they're still spaced out the same. So that gives me the confidence to uh, actually start uh, uh, spawning more trains for this ride. Now I think four trains will be enough for this ride. Um, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's quickly spawn them and then for every train uh, I'm just going to let them move uh, one step ahead. And then um, yeah, I will do the ride vehicle editing. Okay, I think here we have uh, the situation which I was uh, kind of afraid of. That's that several of these boats uh, seem to have bumped into each other. Um, I will see if I can um, get them loose by uh, moving them apart a, l a little bit more. Okay, the ride now seems to be cooperating and I think, uh, yeah, it looks way cooler than I had ever envisioned it. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with uh, how this has worked out and I uh, just hope uh, the ride keeps uh, behaving well <laughs> like this. Okay, um, with the vehicles now done, uh, now of course um, the guests still cannot get on these uh, vehicles. So uh, we'll definitely need um, uh, some stations for this ride. So uh, that's what I will be uh, building next.
All right, uh, the dolphin ride now has four stations. The first one you can see over here. I uh, also decorated the queue a little bit and also gave the ride a nice platform. Um, used some um, of these uh, base blocks from some of the expansions. I mixed them a bit and I think that gives a nice uh, texture over here. Now I um, did the same over here. Uh, I am going to decorate a little bit more with some of these wall pieces. I think that uh, that's a nice uh, part to put here on the end. And yeah, also put some uh, of these lanterns, these flower lanterns on the queue here, which you can see in the back. Um, yeah, I think uh, all in all, uh, these stations uh, definitely make this ride look uh, pretty nice. Now, uh, before I can open this ride, um, I have, I'll have to connect these paths or else the guests will just get lost here. So, um, yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, simply add uh, a temporary path network over here. And, of course, uh, it will most likely uh, change quite a bit later, but uh, I think uh, it will look really cool to have the guests go around on these uh, dolphins. Okay, um, we have a temporary path layout now. Now, uh, as I already mentioned, this is by no means the final layout of the path, but uh, it's good to have uh, something here. So uh, that's uh, that also means that I can finally open the dolphin ride. Now, let me make the user interface visible again. Um, let's also change the color a little bit. Okay, and we'll do the same. For this, all right, and that means I can finally open the ride, and the name will be. Uh, well, first off, uh, I need to remember what's the color for this area. Um, Pearl Aqua. Okay, so that means I'm going to name the ride Pearl Aqua Dolphin Taxi. Okay, hey, um, we should um, see you guests heading for this ride soon-ish. And um, yeah, that uh, means we should also see uh, more guests walking around on these uh, new paths uh, pretty soon. <laughs> we can already see a guest, uh, a guest on this ride. I think that uh, that just looks so cool. I'm uh, really happy with uh, how this ride is, has uh, already uh, turned out. Okay. Um, Let's uh, up the waiting time a little bit for this ride. So we'll give it, uh, we'll make it wait for a full load, the maximum time of thirty seconds. Now, um, something which uh, I don't really like anymore uh, in this park is actually these glass panes. They quite often get in the way, and yeah, I think uh, these uh, blue colored canyon walls actually sell the idea of uh, this park being underwater uh, well enough. So uh, I'm just going to uh, remove all these glass panes. No, I'm not going to click them all. And we have a nice uh, tool for that called the scenery manager. So I go to this uh, screen. Uh, I will quickly save the park first. Okay, and then we pick these glass panes and we do search and delete. Hey, it looks like all the glass panes uh, are gone. Uh, I just need to do some recoloring in some of these uh, areas on the side. So uh, that's what I will uh, quickly do next. Right, I think this looks uh, good enough. I uh, really started to hate these glass plates. Uh, I still used a few here on top of some of these uh, 
um, yeah, ground pieces that were sticking out here in the blue area. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think it looks better with uh, most of the glass panes uh, removed. All right, I think this is a really cool addition to the park. Now, uh, speaking of additions to the park, um, I also put an entertainer here. So as usual, um, I will name him after one of my patrons. And this entertainer will be named Savvy Adam. So thanks a lot uh, for your support, Savvy Adam. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your spot in the park. Now, if you also want to support me on Patreon, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. All right, um, yeah, a short recap of everything uh, we did in this episode. Well, first off, uh, I uh, did all the uh, canyon walls on the side uh, over here, <laughs> and also uh, the foliage, the underwater foliage, uh, I mean. Um, after that, um, I also did the top here, so I also uh, did the border between the, this land and the land next to it, so you can see all this jungle foliage here on the side. Also did the border here with the mystery marsh. Uh, after that, I made this uh, dolphin taxi ride. Now, I'm uh, super happy with uh, how this ride uh, turned out. It's really fun watching all these guests uh, go around on these uh, different dolphins. And it's just uh, really fun to, uh, yeah, to uh, see these dolphins uh, travel through this uh, part of the park. We can uh, watch them uh, leave the station here. <laughs> I think that's just uh, really cool. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite uh, rides of the park so far. And finally, um, I created a preliminary path layout, which allows the guests to get around in this area. And that also allowed me to finally open this ride. All right, that's going to be all the building uh, I'm going to do for this episode. Uh, I think it will be fun to end this episode uh, by following some of these dolphins around through this area. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this video a like. It would really help out my channel. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.